guys awake? You guys are awake? Hey, thank you guys very much for coming out tonight. So so wonderful to see uh, so many uh, faces out here, so many bodies in the seats here to, to come and uh, come on, check out a, a, a great night of music. Um, as you know, tonight we're doing a tribute to the music of uh, the renowned uh, and just uh, incredibly talented musician Ruben Blades, uh, or Ruben Blades, however you want to call it. Uh, he's Panamanian, and uh, we're going to be doing just uh, um, all the songs here off a very particular recording uh, called uh, Ruben Blades and Son del Soldat Live. It's a record that's recorded live in New York, I think at SOBs. And uh, I was, uh, I've always loved this uh, this record because it has so much uh, weight in the in the genre the genre of, of Latin music. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a, a really good transitional record, and, and for us, it's also very different approach for us because we've been doing some really contemporary Cuban music and we decided to go back and do some more uh, traditional uh, music, some more rooted in tradition of, of Latin, uh, of salsa. And um, so it's kind of a, 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 a again, a, a change of gears for us, uh, but again, really incredibly, um, uh, you know, the way this with the Ruben Blas songwriting is very simplistic and at, at a glance, uh, as, as you drive by it, it just seems really easy and just typical, but when you really get into the, the nitty-gritty of the details of, of his music and his songwriting, it's very deep and it's very detailed. And there's a lot of little nuances in the music that make it really unique. And uh, and so it's really a, a pleasure to be doing his music tonight. And uh, it's also a very special night because I've invited um, a couple of musicians uh, to join us uh, uh, that are just uh, incredible musicians. And I'll give you a little more background a little later. But on lead vocals from Los Angeles, we have a senor Alfredo Ortiz. Another great musician, awesome musician, uh, trumpet player, great background singer, and lead singer. Actually, we found out last night. Uh, Steve Bofongo, the other one. And another incredibly amazing, talented musician that's just so blessed and so just awesome and, and, and dedicated. Uh, we have Mr. Eddie Gonzalez on back on the And of course, of course, it goes without saying, the Miracles of Latin Jazz Orchestra. So again, you know, the song, Ruben Blas' songwriting style is very unique. He's very, very prolific, very deep. Uh, all about storytelling. It's not just a simple chorus or a simple verse going to a to a, to a chorus. He's, uh, you know, he's known for these lengthy songs that uh, that are just really deep story-wise. And that first song is just about, you know, talking about his mom, uh, you know, and and kind of seeing her go through life and just kind of a whole. Kind of get a whole picture in your mind when you listen to the words of what what, what happened to her and, and and what her trajectory was. It's a really 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 deep song. The next song I'm going to do is actually called uh, El Padre Antonio, and it's a song about a priest uh, and an altar boy, and uh, it's a really beautiful story. Uh, a priest that was exiled, kind of exiled himself to the jungles of South America to preach there, and ends up getting assassinated. And it was a, it's a true story, and he wrote wrote this song to dedicate you know, dedicate a, a song to them because they're they're. Uh, uh, their cause was just real, very real to his heart, and he decided to write a song for it. It's called Padre Antonio. Uh.
cerca de Monaguillo A ver si la conexión confunde al sentido Y ya estamos orgullosa porque a su vez ellos se creen Que con Dios conectando a uno conecta a diez Yeah.